I'm Chris with Palmetto State Armory. We're here at our outdoor shooting facility in Swansea, South Carolina to talk about Bolt and Tronu wear that you are likely to see on your AK-47 rifle. So sometimes shooters will notice a little bit of wear on the lugs of the bolt, maybe a little bit on the trunnion as well, and they could believe that that is calling into question the integrity of the rifle itself. What we wanted to show you is that's actually just a typical part of the break-in process of your rifle. So our goal today is to put a thousand rounds through two separate AK rifles, and we'll show you what you can expect for wear patterns on your bolt and on your trunnion. Our engineers, Dale and Colton, are here as well. They're gonna walk us through the head spacing of the rifles, help us get the rounds through them. If you're not super familiar with head spacing, click on the link in the description of this video. We gotta throw a rundown on exactly what that is there for you as well. Quick visual of exactly what we're talking about, what we're looking for. This is a bolt that has seen about 5,100 rounds out of a rifle. And this is a brand new bolt that has seen exactly zero rounds. This is the bolt we're gonna kind of break in today and show you the wear patterns and how it interfaces uh, with the trunnion as we shoot. All right, so here we have a number one, a go gauge. We wanna show that it does indeed close on a one, no problem. So this is a two gauge. We're gonna gauge this out, figure out where it closes so we know where we're starting from so we can track its incremental progress as the rounds go up. It's two, still closes. All right, so right now we've got a number three gauge in, which is two thousandths over the initial one, the go gauge. So we're actually very tight on a three, so that's where we're stopping. We're starting with a three thousandths headspace. This is our 100 round bolt. We just put 100 rounds through this. It was brand new. You can see a little bit of wear, but not a whole lot at all. You can compare that here. This is the 5,000 round bolt. All right, so you can see what 5,100 rounds looks like. At 100 rounds, wear on the trunnion is expected. That's where your bolt is rolling over the trunnion. All right, so this is our three gauge again, which will be the upper limit of what we had spaced it to initially before we started. So after 100 rounds, we're still on the three. We still close on the three. So now we'll check it with a four. This is our four. After 100 rounds, she's starting to break in. And if you squeeze her, she'll close on a four. And we'll check it with a five. So here's our five. We cannot close on the five yet, so we're still at a four. This is our five gauge from last time. Check it again. Still does not close on a five, so it hasn't moved off that gauge. See a little bit of polish showing up there. That is totally normal. That's where your bolt is rolling over the trunnion as the rounds loaded into the chamber and then coming back up and over that as the rounds ejected.
use your bolts at 750. 750 on the right, 5,000 on the left. So this is the five gauge we had last time. It barely wouldn't close. And the nut force after that is it's polishing in, it's, it's settling that last bit. It will now close tightly on a five. So here we have a six gauge. Not even close. Won't close on a six. So what we have in here right now is our number six gauge from last time. Uh, as you remember, it wouldn't close on a, a six last time. Still not even close to closing on a six now. Doesn't close any farther than it did last time. So at this point, we consider this rifle broken in. So now we've hit a thousand rounds with each rifle, and if you compare their bolts to the bolts from the 5,000 round rifles, you're going to notice that they look similar. And the point there is that now we've hit that sweet spot. These have been broken in, the wear and polish is on them, it's exactly what you want. It's going to stay that way. And don't forget, at Palmetto State Armory we put an unlimited lifetime warranty on everything we make. So if there's ever an issue and you need help, we will fix it, replace it, or repair it free of charge. For more information, you can find us at palmettostatearmory.com.